Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the top 10 sneakers to buy in 2024. So let's get it and let's go. This list isn't in any particular order, so I'm just gonna start firing off. So let's start off with number one. Number one on the list, we have the Nike Vomeros. One of my favorite parts about the Vomeros is how comfortable they are. This model resembles a dad sneaker, but it still has that sporty feel to it, so it's more of like an out and about type of shoe in my opinion. There are plenty of colorways to go around, but my most worn colorway has to be the triple black version. Before, the Vomeros used to be a little bit tough to get, but if you're going for simple colorways, they're still out there. By the way, if you guys are interested in any of the sneakers that I'm talking about, I have a list down below in the description. Overall, the Nike Vomeros are one of my favorite sneakers to wear at the moment. This is based off price, comfortability, and design. Before we get to sneaker number two, I just wanna let you guys know that Valentine's Day is coming up. So if you guys are looking for gifts for your girl, I'm selling custom engraved LED lights that you can find on my website. All of the names are completely customizable. So you just go ahead and fill everything out and I'll get to making it ASAP. Right now, all of the custom goods as well as the hearts are 30% off on my website, which I will link down below in the description. I also just dropped these custom embroidered hats on my website. So if they look cool and you wanna support your boy, make sure you guys check the link in the description. I appreciate y'all. Coming in in at spot number two, I have to go with the Nike Dunk. I know, I know, y'all wanna grill me, y'all wanna grill me, but let me explain myself. I know we've been seeing plenty of dunks over the years, and at this point, a lot of people are frustrated with it, or I guess you could say a lot of people are over the dunk hype. With that being said, I still think that the Nike Dunk is a classic. Do y'all remember when pandas were going for over $300, and now you could go into any JD Sports and cop a pair for retail? I got no complaints. Since Nike has been milking the dunk silhouette, there's basically endless amounts of colorways to choose from and many of them are still in that affordable range which is pretty dope keeping it in that affordable price range we have the adidas gazelles i feel like 2023 was the year of the adidas samba but i see a lot of people starting to get into the gazelles when we're talking about both of these silhouettes they're very similar but personally i prefer the gazelles over the sambas depending on the colorway you can find them for around hundred dollars and some collabs going up to 150 dollars it just really depends what you're looking for in terms of colorway and exclusivity right now my favorite colorway for the gazelles has to be the red and white pair with the gum bottom. And I wanna give a quick shout out to my homie Colin for throwing this fit together, which gave me the idea to make this video. He had the red and white Sambas on, mixed with these light wash blue jeans. And it was just something about the fit that looks so subtle, but the shoes just popped and that's what I like. Coming in at spot number four, we have the New Balance 1906 Rs. I personally don't have a pair of these, but I've been seeing a lot of people wear this shoe. All I know is that New Balance is superior when it comes to comfortability. And I've had a bunch of 2002 Rs in the past, which look very similar, but the 1906s look a little bit more slimmed down and a little more refined. Retail price for this pair is around $150, but there are some colorways available right now on sale for $100. Coming in at spot number five, I do have to include the Air Jordan 1s. I know whenever I do a top 10, usually the Air Jordan 1s make it, but in all honesty, that shoe stood the test of time. It's a silhouette that never gets old, and there are a bunch of colorways to choose from. Lately, I've been wearing more of the Air Jordan 1 Lows. They've just been easier to slip on, a little bit more wearable in my opinion, but there have been some pretty solid Air Jordan 1 colorways that released lately that aren't going for too much. Again, Jordan brand milked the Air Jordan 1, so the hype died down a little bit, which makes it the perfect time to buy. The next sneaker is going to be a sleeper sneaker, and I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Vance for putting me on. This is the Converse Jack Purcell. Personally, when I look for a clean everyday shoe, I'm looking for something that's not expensive, something that I won't feel bad messing up, and something that I could easily throw on. My personal favorite has to be the Leather Jack Purcell, where it just looks like a high quality sneaker, but it honestly doesn't go for too much money, and it's just something that you could throw on and wear without worrying about. There are different iterations that are in Nordstrom right now. They mainly have the canvas ones, but again, my favorite has to be the leather version. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 4. Similar to the other sneakers, Jordan Brand has been milking the Air Jordan 4, but I gotta say, I threw this in there just because I'm looking forward to the leather Air Jordan Brand 4s coming out. I already know once I get my hand on those sneakers, they're gonna be one of my most worn pairs of 2024. And I know a lot of people are starting to get sick of the Air Jordan 4s, but I feel like in 2024, we're still gonna see a lot of people wear that model, which is why it ended up on the list. Next Next up, we have a pair of Birkenstocks. For the past couple of years, I've been wearing a lot of Crocs. In 2024, I could proudly say that I have graduated from the Croc game and entered the Birkenstock game. Now the clogs aren't as comfortable as the Crocs, but I feel like they 
do dress up a little better than Crocs. There have been many situations where I put on Crocs at the beginning of the day, thinking that nothing crazy was gonna happen, but I needed to be a little more dressed up for the occasion. So yeah, I was that dude wearing Crocs when Birkenstocks look a little more classier. They look a little more dressed up. So that's why the Birkenstocks entered the chat. For the next spot, we have the Nike Air Force Ones. My most worn colorway has to be the Triple Blacks. And for the last spot, we have the Air Jordan 3. The Air Jordan 3 is super nostalgic for me, so I went ahead and added it on the list, being that the Reimagined or White Cement 3s released last year, and you can still get them for a decent price, I had to throw them on the list. That's gonna wrap up my top 10 sneakers to buy in 2024. Let me know if I missed any silhouettes in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys very soon for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out, peace.